Improvisers know that some of the most successful moments on stage happen out of uncomfortable moments. Oh no, I think a nurse is coming. Uh, is it your child? I, uh, 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 Jacqueline gave me it, so I, I think so. I don't know so. what she's talking about. Hey! And in that line, when we think about uncomfortable moments, we normally run away from them. Improvisers don't. It's the opposite in improv. You have to be willing to jump in. You have to be willing to even stay engaged through a scene and not even take a step in because you might be needed. So it's being open and being ready. What we want to do is use some improvising skills to tackle some really uncomfortable moments and acknowledge them with integrity and honesty. In this scenario, you remember the LGBTQ community and your partner is a woman. Okay. 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 And we're at a, we're at a party. Hi, wonderful. It's so good to see you. Oh, good to see you. Oh, I see you have a, a ring on. Where's your husband today? I'm not married to a man. Oh, well, where's your wife? She's welcome next time and we can't wait to meet her. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let's go nice job. You're an improviser. Hey. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pro at this, but you just kind of eased right into it to instantly make her feel comfortable. The most ambitious, highest performing leaders oftentimes learn to take a step back. And this is where team equity comes in. What can you step back? What can you allow other people to learn on their own? And then we're going to talk through some solutions and behaviors you can take out of here to your organization, to your life. We are going to play a game called Conduct a Story. <laughs> now I have this beautiful vampire baby, and... Uh, and? We're going to get in the car. We're going to drive really fast. <laughs> the vampire baby is actually the baby of Vanessa, the other Russian spy. <laughs> so how did that go? I want to hear from each of you. How did that feel? Um, at, definitely at a loss for words, but it, when it was somebody else, it was like I felt like I could encourage them. Yeah. Yes. If you come across something unexpected, even if it isn't perfect, you can try to find something like positive in that experience. I think you get rid of trying to think of reasons why it's not going to work, and instead you just start thinking of reasons why it will and what you're going to do with it. So you kind of erase those negative thoughts and just move forward with the positive. And I think sometimes when people slip up or make assumptions, they think that they're just labeled a certain way and then they can't move on. It's a good reminder to, to live in that yes space and understand that everybody makes mistakes. So using the skills of improv comedy and allowing people to get out of their comfort zone allows people to maybe let loose a little bit. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Yeah, all right, very nice. Give them a round of applause again. They did so good.